Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee with Jean Plassard. Today, I'm, that's my first day at the bank, but I'm keeping, of course, the social distancing. Today, I'm focusing on the reality of the numbers. While it was uh, all a matter of interpretation and forecasting, the real figures confirmed that the economic situation in Europe was much worse than expected. It was France, Spain and Italy that started the ball rolling yesterday morning. First of all, Spain saw its GDP contracted by minus 5.2% in the first quarter due, of course, to the pandemic, to the coronavirus pandemic. <clears throat> the Bank of Spain now expect a record fall in 2020 with the GDP of the years on force largest economy falling from 6.6% to 13.6%. Second, Italy preliminary uh, first quarter GDP fell by 4.7% year uh, quarter and quarter and minus 4.8% year on year. And third, we learned that French growth in the first quarter saw the sharpest drop in the history, minus 5.8% of GDP estimate and far exceeds the decline in the first quarter of 2008 that was only one minus 1.6 percent or in the second quarter of 1968 minus 5.3 percent after the minus 0.1 percent decline in the French, G French GDP recorded in the last quarter of 2019 this performance confirmed that France has indeed entered a recession. This fall in activity is mainly linked to the slowdown of non-core activities in the context of the introduction of uh, containment from mid-March onwards. Finally, German GDP, will, which will be published on May 15, is expected to fall by minus 6.3% this year, which will represent the worst decline in 50 years. But let's be reassured. There is not as you know, a direct link of, uh, uh, of countries' growth and the stock market performance, since the evolution of an index is the result of an anticipation. Thank you very much. Keep on winning, stay safe, and read my morning.